Oh, that was harsh. Do you roll over a lot? If you want to know how to fix it, I'm going to tell you how, and I'm going to give you the common misconceptions and myths on how to fix it. I'm going to give you some common sense on what it takes to actually fix why your rollovers occur. Watch the full video. Baseball truth. You shall know the truth and that truth shall set you free both physically and mentally. Check out that baseball truth hat. We've got baseball truth hats available soon. So check them out, TroyPSilva.com. Also check out our sponsor for this video right here, BallPlayerSupply.com. They got amazing uh, ball player gear. So check that out. You wanna fix your rollovers? I'm telling you right now, rollovers, number one, they're not always a bad thing. But rollovers are really easy to fix if you don't listen to the traditional school of thought of why they occur. So first of all, not all roll rollovers are bad, okay? Second of all, when you are rolling over, it's just part of hitting sometimes. Sometimes you roll over, sometimes you get fooled on the pitch, sometimes you just didn't see the ball very well and you're trying to adjust and you roll over. If you roll over consistently, then there obviously might be a timing problem or a mechanical type problem. Um, and this is a video that's gonna help you fix why the rollovers, rollovers occur. So this is what a rollover is for you guys that don't know. Rollover is as you get to the ball, your top hand will roll and you'll basically just chop a ground ball pull side is what a rollover really is. So first of all, when I'm teaching hitting uh, and a kid rolls over, I'm not gonna get mad instantly and say, hey, you roll over. A lot of times rollovers produce ground balls, which produce runs, which produce base hits and produce other winning stuff like that. So they're not always bad. I can't stand when kids get in a mode of, oh, I roll over, it's a bad thing all the time. Um, if you roll over occasionally, it's part of hitting. If it gets through the six hole, six hole if you're a right-hander or four hole if you're a left-hander, uh, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, you gotta hit. Um, so don't think that all rollovers are bad. That's the first thing. The second thing, the most common school of thought that really gets taught when it comes to uh, how to fix a rollover, and you guys have probably heard this or maybe even said it, is what? Let the ball travel, let the ball travel, let the ball travel. Because what's the thought process is, is you got too far out in front, you hit the ball too far on your front side out here, which made you roll over. In some cases, and I say some cases, that's true. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of times the whole let the ball travel thing, you're rolling over is dictated because of coaches not seeing the kid in a live game setting, or the BP is too slow, or maybe the front toss is super slow, and a kid cannot let the ball travel, so that they, when they do let it travel, um, they're not gonna be rolling over, which is kind of false these days. I'm out watching a lot of baseball and softball, and it's very rare these days, very rare, to see anybody, anybody at any level, uh, be too far out in front regularly. Does it happen? Yes, but it's a small percentage of kids that hit the ball too far out in front regularly, which leads to a lot of too far out in front rolled over ground balls. So that's the common school of thought is let it travel because you're too far out in front. And if you're too far out in front, you're gonna roll over. I completely disagree with that. I wanna make sure that our hitters are hitting the ball consistently on the front side of their body, which is gonna help them not roll over. So what really happens, and this is the whole point of this video, so listen clearly right now and carefully. Most of the time, rollovers occur from most kids at any level because the ball gets too deep in the zone. And I'm gonna show you why this happens and, and what happens. So what happens is, I'm gonna show you right here. The ball travels too deep in the zone. And when the ball travels too deep in the zone, the hands are gonna try to find the barrel to hit the ball. So your hands are gonna move naturally for the ball to hit the barrel. So what happens when the ball gets deep is they hit the ball here and then your hands are naturally gonna roll over because the contact point is too deep. So again, contact point should be regularly on the front side of your body. If you get too far out in front, yes, you might roll over occasionally, but most rollovers occur these days because the ball travels too deep. The ball gets in here, and then what happens is, is they get to the contact point and roll their hands. So a coach will see that, right? And a coach will say, hey, you rolled over, let it travel. And what happens is they let it travel more and more rollovers occur. So the common sense part of this is to fix a rollover if you do it regularly, is just to adjust your contact point. 
You don't need the secret sauce on mechanics. You don't need better extension through the ball. The extension will happen through the ball when your contact point gets consistent on where it needs to be. So to help fix rollovers happen less often is you gotta be consistent on the front side of your body with the contact point. Out front means this side of your body to hit the ball, not this side of your body to hit the ball. Hitters that hit the ball way back in here are never gonna be successful ever when they hit, ever. So you have to learn how to hit the ball out in front. And quite honestly, I've been doing this a long time if the kids can understand contact point, don't roll over as much. And if they do, it's part of the game. It's part of hitting. Hitting rollover ground balls sometimes is a good thing. I can't stand kids that always go back to the dugout thinking, oh, that was a bad thing, I scored a run. Especially you lefties with the runner on third, roll over a ground ball and actually score a run. Or the ball gets through the hole and you're standing on first base, oh, I roll over. That's part of hitting. Pitchers actually make good pitches sometimes and you got to adjust. And sometimes that involves a roll over ground ball. Now, Obviously, we don't want to do it all the time, right? And the way to fix that is to fix that contact point. So I want you guys to think outside of the box when it comes to how to fix rollovers. But I promise you, if you listen to what I'm saying and you understand that most rollovers occur because of late contact, you're going to be able to fix your rollovers in different ways. Number one, if you react better and you think be ready to hit earlier, maybe you adjust your timing. And if you definitely adjust your contact point, you're going to hit less weak rollover ground balls. So. It's common sense, it really is, uh, but at the same time, I think it's a common school of thought that was over the years being taught to kids, and it's actually created a lot more rollovers because the ball's traveling too deep. So to fix it, and this is all individual too, so just, just listen to me, not all kids are the same. This is just the common thing that happens regularly that I see on a regular basis. Most rollovers occur because of late contact. So the way to fix it is you individually figuring out a way to hit the ball farther out in front. So whether it's loading earlier, having better bat speed, uh, timing it earlier, getting better pitch recognition, seeing the ball better, working on higher velocities, not doing slow stuff all the time into your wheelhouse, that's the way that's gonna help you fix rollovers. And on the back side of it is don't get mad when you roll over and a run scores or you get a hit. That's part of hitting. And that's the good part about hitting. You should be excited when you actually roll over and get a hit out of it. Um, because that's what makes you a good hitter, is be able to put the ball in play on the barrel. And if you roll over occasionally, you roll over occasionally. It's not the end of the world. So um, hopefully this video is helpful. If you find it helpful, please comment in the comment section. Please subscribe right here in the subscribe uh, button right there and uh, turn on your notifications. And just know that you can fix these rollovers without having to think too much mechanically as well. I think too much mechanical information gets put into your head on rolling over and you're not gonna fix it necessarily mechanically. Some kids will, and some kids will make some mechanical adjustments to try to help fix that. But a lot of times, it's just a simple, simple contact point adjustment. God bless.